Welcome back everybody to Hayes Tech. My name is Dave Hayes and this is the channel where we talk about pretty much anything tech. I did a video back about a year ago talking about my HP laptop and it is the uh, HP DA0053WM. Basically it's Walmart's economy line higher end laptop and uh, it came with 4 gigs of RAM and uh, it's got this uh, SSD chip in it. Anyways, the laptop comes with 4 gigs of RAM. I upgraded it to 8. Um, it's got a lot of features I actually like. And I purchased it because I needed a laptop to edit videos. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to make a video uh, letting you guys know how the laptop's doing, what I think about it here one year later, and whether or not I think it's worth your purchasing. I also want to go over a couple really cool items. I'm not going to review them, but I do want to introduce them to you, and I will be doing a review on them sometime here in the very near future, so be looking for that. So, as soon as we come back, we're going to go ahead and jump into my Walmart HP laptop, and I'll let you know if it's still worth buying in 2020. And as always, if you liked my video, don't forget to hit that like button and share my videos. It really helps me out. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you saw, think about subscribing. And if you subscribe, don't forget to hit that notification bell icon. That way you get a notification of my videos as soon as I release them. Alright, before we go any further, I just want to let all of you know that I took my Canon T6i and I did basically like a factory reset on it. And it's working. So... I'm going to keep using this camera off and on throughout some of the videos I make and uh, make sure it's still working and in, as long as it's doing what it's doing right now, uh, I will be giving this camera away when I hit 5,000 subs. So be looking for that. Again, it's working. I'm using it now. Me giving away the T6i is back on for now. Okay, what I wanted to talk about today was I purchased the HP laptop about a year ago and I'm not going to lie to you, I had some issues with it. But getting a hold of HP twice and them putting their service technician uh, kind of like online, taking control of my computer, they fixed it both times. But after they fixed it both times, on both occasions, after I would say about a month, maybe two months, I started having problems again. And it ended up the third time it happened, I called HP and, start, and started telling them, you know, hey, same thing's happening, my computer, it's slowing down, I can hardly do anything on it, something needs done, uh, we're going to have to reset it again, whatever you guys did last time, we're going to have to do it again. HP said, absolutely not, uh, our technicians looked into it twice, you need to send that laptop in, we need to look at it and fix it right. So... As reluctant as I was sending back my only way to edit videos because I mean I can edit videos on my PC here in the bedroom but <laughs> it is really really slow and not very good at editing videos as reluctant as I was sending it back I had to I had to get it fixed so I sent it back to HP and uh, they actually sent me a mailing box and everything uh, shipping labels and uh, that came about with that came within a week, so I mailed it out to them. They got it within you know a week. It was uh, very fast shipping, and within one day, you know, I got a no I got a notification saying we're starting work on your laptop, and it was that same day they said okay it's fixed we're going to send it back, and I, I couldn't believe it it's fixed. Here to find out the only thing that was wrong with the laptop was an issue with the software that they installed on it. So they basically, from what I understand, just wiped the computer completely. Now they may have put a new hard drive in it because it came back with Windows uh, 10 on it and stuff, but of course it was wiped, so there was nothing on there that was mine. And I knew, you know, I wasn't going to get it back with a lot of information on it, uh, so I did back everything up. But when I got it back, I fired it up, went through everything, set it all back up again, loaded all my programs again, and got it up and running. 
and I've had it now for about six months since they sent it back to me and I haven't had one problem with it uh, the one thing that they did say is make sure you update the laptop both through Windows and HP so if I if you if you own one of these HP laptops and you get a notification through Windows you know that you have an update update it also uh, look for notifications from HP as well because they do send out notifications uh, saying that your computer needs updates go ahead and get those updates because that's going to keep all your uh, all your stuff running in your computer you know uh, any kind of motherboard or uh, processor drivers or updates anything needed HP is going to continue updating it I will say also kudos to HP because they actually extended my warranty uh, I had a one-year warranty on it I think don't quote me on that uh, they gave me an extra uh, six months warranty on my computer. Uh, now that warranty is definitely up now, but I'm going to tell you guys, uh, it's running great. I haven't had an issue with it. And what I think is so cool about it is I purchased this laptop specifically to edit videos. Now, intentionally, I was planning on only editing 1080p videos. And for the most part, that's what this computer is really made to do. But with the addition of the four extra gigabytes of DDR4 RAM uh, that I put in it, uh, I edit 4K videos on this and I don't have any problems at all with it. As long as I let the videos process, so that means when I load the videos in the video editing software that I use, as long as I let it, um, that red bar on top of the video when you drop it in your video line, as long as I let that red bar go all the way to the end and let it fully get all the information it, that it needs about that video, I can run through and edit 4K videos without a hitch. Uh, now, of course, I, I'm pretty impatient. I don't wait for that all the time. And for me to just get different shots, like I'm shooting with three cameras, I'm shooting with my 90D now uh, over here. Uh, right here, of course, is my Canon T6i. And boy does it look good on the screen uh, and then over here is my m50 now you're going to notice a little difference in coloration just because uh, this camera here is picking up some light from the window so it's going to throw the color off a little bit but i would edit like videos like this three different videos uh, in my timeline and then what i would do is where i would change cameras and go to like this view well then i would cut it pull out the camera views that i don't need Put the camera view I'm using, drop it down into the main timeline, and just continue on through until I do the whole video and get all three camera angles into one timeline. Then when that would be done, I would usually export that video out uh, in 4K, and then I would pull that video back in after it was done and then just start editing. And uh, the second time I would pull a video in, it would it would go real quick to process it in the, to the point where I could, you know, actually edit it and just start playing through, you know, scrub through it and everything. So I have to say this computer is doing an outstanding job editing 4K videos. If, I, if I'm just editing 1080p videos, I don't have any issues at all, none. I mean, it just breezes through 1080p videos. And uh, 1080p, 60 frames per second, you know it's okay make sure you let that it build the whole way across um, but uh, it was a little choppy when I was doing 1080p 120 frames per second um, you know because I was trying to get some you know high speed so I could do some slow motion footage stuff like that so it is a little choppy on that but um, 1080p 30 frames per second it, it just flies through them those videos no problems uh, 4k videos no issues at all you guys have seen my videos on YouTube every one of those videos I edited on my HP laptop so there you go uh, I have nothing but good to say about HP I was kind of worried at first but they completely back their products 100% their uh, tech support is outstanding and um, it just seems to me that they're pretty good people over there so I wasn't talking to a robot, um, I got to talk to an actual person, and don't get me wrong, <laughs> as much as I don't mind where the people are from that I'm talking to, some people from other countries I have a problem understanding uh, when they're talking to me. Uh, the person that I talked to was 
I'm guessing right from America, and spoke very good English. I had no problems understanding what this person was saying or anything. So, uh, again, kudos to HP for that. All right, enough of that. Uh, I just wanted to update you guys and let you know that if you purchase an HP laptop from Walmart, uh, even if you don't get it from HP, if you get it from Walmart, HP will back their product 100%. And next time I get another laptop, it's probably going to be an HP. Now, I'm going to get one that has a lot more RAM, that also has a, a video card in it, you know, it basically a gaming laptop. If you're going to use a laptop for editing videos, uh, you really want to get a gaming laptop. I think they're best for editing videos because they're just made for intensive, you know, stuff being done on your computer. So, um, okay, so let's go ahead and move on. My grandson got what's called a Stylophone. Uh, this is a Gen X one. And here's what it looks like. And basically... When he gets used to using this and, you know, it really gets acclimated to all of its buttons, dials, whistles, and all that, we're going to do a video on this, and I'll be putting that out for you guys. Uh, so be looking for that video. This thing's actually really cool. You can create music on this. Uh, you can actually create music that you could use on your YouTube channel, you know, for your background music if you wanted. Uh, so it's pretty cool, and uh, it's basically, it works kind of like a, uh, you know, a... I guess a piano, it's got the same kind of keys as a piano, but it's got a little stylus somewhere. I don't know what he did with it. Uh, must be, oh, here it is. The stylus is right here. I don't know if I can get it out. There it is. Basically, by running the stylus across here, I don't know if it'll make me, well, let me see if I can get it to uh, turn on for you. There we go. So basically, by running the stylus across here, It makes music so it's really cool uh, it's got a lot of things that you can do with it it's got a full EQ set up here and you can do some crazy shit with this uh, so like I said as soon as he gets used to this thing we're gonna be doing a video on this I'll be putting that out and also whenever he gets used to the controls on this and uh, figures out everything that there is to figure about this we're gonna do a video on his Nintendo uh, switch and this is what's called the Nintendo Switch Lite. Uh, I guess the, the the Nintendo Switch actually has it's a little smaller and it's got little uh, controllers that plug into each side of it and also comes with a box that plugs into your TV and but this is the this is the game this is kind of like the Game Boy pad that you, that you carry around with you and it's got a, a 5.8 inch screen on it so it's almost like having a six inch screen. Uh, it is high definition. Um, I think it's it, it's at least 1080p. I don't think it's 4k But from what I could see the video quality on this thing is freaking awesome. So uh, Again, whatever we get used to it or when he gets used to it uh, I will be doing a video on this letting you know whether or not I think it's worth you getting if you should get this or uh, Say the full-blown one that you get that hooks your TV, you know So far from what I can tell he is really liking it Okay, that's pretty much all I had for this video. All I wanted to do, basically, I just wanted to update you all out there on my HP laptop. I got lots of comments uh, on the HP. Also, there was a couple of you out there asking me, uh, basically, how to change the battery in it, how to access the RAM. This laptop's weird. There is no way for you to pull the battery out. Okay, so the battery's not external on this laptop which I think is stupid one thing that HP shouldn't have done is built the battery internally it should have been an external battery that way I could have bought extra batteries and when the battery got low if I was out on the run I could just plug another battery into it you can't do that with this computer the battery is built internally uh, kinda like a cell phone or whatever and when the batteries are low on it you gotta plug it in and charge it so uh, but I was asked about how to uh, access the battery for changing and you basically have to take and split the laptop apart. Uh, see my video I did on upgrading the RAM on this and, uh, and you'll see how you access the battery. So I mean you basically have to take all the screws out of the back, 
So you have to pull the the, uh, the two feet stri strips off the bottom of it because I think there are four screws under each one of those. And then you take the screws out of the perimeter of it and carefully, and I cannot stress this enough, carefully get, I used a butter knife. Uh, you can use a little plastic wedge, a guitar pick, a stiff one, or the thick guitar picks works really well. And then you just wedge it in between the, the uh, color differences on the, on the top of the laptop. And I'll shoot some B-roll in here, letting you guys know what I'm talking about. But you basically wedge that pick or a butter knife in between the, uh, the black computer top and the gray side. And you just kind of very carefully pry up on it. Uh, I took the guitar pick and I just kind of ran it the whole way around it. And what that does is it breaks the locks apart on it. So, but do that carefully. And once you break the locks, a whole, the uh, little plastic clips the whole way around it. Then the bottom of the laptop just separates right from the top. Uh, there are no wires connecting the bottom to the top, so you don't have to worry about that. And once you have that apart, uh, you can pretty much access everything in the computer. So that's how you would access the internals to this laptop to change your battery, to add any extra RAM, to change out your SSD, um, you know, or to add an extra drive. Whatever you want, that's how you do it. Okay, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and close this video down. Uh, don't forget, as soon as I hit 5,000 subscribers, I'm going to be having my uh, big giveaway. I will be giving away uh, my Canon T6i, and it is functioning uh, again, thank goodness. Um, and I will be using the camera off and on just to make sure that everything is going great. Uh, the only thing I want to mention is I am going to change the lens. I'm going to be giving away... Um, a updated lens with it. It is an 18 to 55 millimeter kit lens, but this one stops all the way down to 3.5. The one that came with it um, stopped down to like 4.5. So it'll give you a little bit more of a blurry background. So uh, I will be letting that go. Oh, also it has a, uh, it's a little bit bigger. So yeah, I get, you'll get a little bit more light into the camera and so on and so forth. But anyways, guys, be looking for the giveaway. And like I said, as soon as I hit that 5,000 subscribers, I will be having the giveaway uh, as soon as I can. And I am highly looking forward to giving this camera away to one of you. So with that being said, uh, I'm going to go ahead and close this video down. Um, I can highly recommend these HP laptops from Walmart. And i uh, be looking for my videos on the two products I talked about. Uh, thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys on the next one.